What's up guys? It's a bright and sunny day here in the Portland metro area. But more importantly, today is May the 4th. And if you don't know what that means, that means it's Star Wars Day. You know, May the 4th be with you. So I figured I would give you guys a closer look at my Mandalorian Airsoft kit. So here we go. So let's start with the torso. The torso is made out of a thick leather and the plates are actually made of plastic. These are not, you know, custom fabricated plates or anything like that. They're actually made out of a five gallon bucket, no joke. Everything on here, except for the collar, which was actually made out of a, I wanna say it was a old piece of office furniture or something like that. But it's all made of HDPE plastic. The shoulder bells, also made out of five gallon bucket and they were just cut and spray painted and fastened to these nylon shoulder straps with a copper rivet. It secures on the sides with plastic buckles that I actually got off of an old Transformers 3 style airsoft vest. It didn't fit me well so I decided I would turn it into something that did fit me well. The back is the rest of that the rest of that mailbox style thing and of course you have the cape which was made out of a polyester curtain oh snap the cape which was made out of a polyester curtain which was weathered with a razor blade and a blowtorch to give it that battle worn look the belt is just a leather belt these are Italian military surplus ammo pouches I believe they're for a sniper rifle of some sort I'm not I'm not exactly sure but I got two of them because they have the right shape and the right look and plus they're made of leather and I didn't feel like making them myself now this you've seen this before this is my custom-made leather holster for my DL44 it fits in there doesn't really bounce out that much and because it's so tight after drying it actually has a bit of retention so it actually takes a little bit of effort to get it out of the holster which is cool also I've got my gashed up trophy lightsaber here because well not everybody wants to be a Jedi On my hands, I wear a set of black gloves. Normally when I play airsoft, I wear my mechanics gloves, but for cosplay purposes, and the fact that I don't want to cut my expensive mechanics gloves, I just use these cheap Hardy brand gloves that I got from Harbor Freight and I cut the two fingers off of them. These van braces, are made entirely of leather and they were made by hand by me now for those of you who watch this YouTube channel you don't really know a lot about me personally I don't think so you probably don't know that on the weekends sometimes I'm not playing airsoft on the weekends, sometimes I am decked from head to toe in full Greek armor and doing full contact medieval combat SCA but these van braces are made of leather and they're fastened with elastic ties that hook over these stainless steel buttons you basically just let's see if you can see that basically just take them loop them over and let them sit and they're on those are my van braces. 
but I know what you're probably most excited to see. And that is the helmet. This helmet is actually a modified Hasbro helmet. Now, Hasbro doesn't make these anymore, but if you're lucky, you can find them in thrift stores. You can find them on Craigslist. You can get them on eBay, but if you get them intact with the rangefinder still on, they usually go for a lot of money. But if you can't find them with the rangefinder, you know, I just buy them and keep them so I can turn them into airsoft helmets. The visor is a thick HDPE plastic. I've shot this thing with every <laughs> with every airsoft gun that I own. It's super durable, so you don't really have to worry about it. But if you would rather be safe than sorry, I suggest you wear a pair of Valken Zulus underneath. The paint job was done by hand by me and I added this NVG shroud off of one of those cheaper fast helmets and put it in with California screws. That way I can put my GoPro on. Now for the inside, the inside's kind of taking apart right now because I'm going to redo the fan, but there is a squirrel cage style blower fan in here to circulate air through the helmet because it does get hot when it's on. And up here, there is a small pouch where I put an 11.1 volt LiPo battery. And that is what makes the fan blow nice and hard. Can you use less voltage? Yes. And I would recommend using less voltage. I'm currently in the process of redoing this, this fan so it pulls air in from the back through this vent and circulates the air through the helmet. Probably going to use some surgical tubing of some sort to run the air straight into the top of the eyepiece to reduce or hopefully completely eliminate fogging on top of air conditioning the helmet. So that's my Mandalorian Airsoft kit. I want to thank all of you for continuing to support this channel and I hope that you would continue to do so. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your mama. Until next time, play hard, play safe, call your hits, and always fight forward. Oh, and may the force be with you.